final coach here today from Elon. Rich Skrosky joins us now. Coach, good to see you. Good to see you. How's it's great to, great to be here today. Yeah, Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks so much. And uh, we were just talking a moment ago before we came on here. Uh, it's just a huge undertaking, you know. I mean, this yeah. is uh, now going to be your second year as head coach and also the second year, you know, for Elon in the CAA. So, I mean, we talk about being in the best league in the country and, and yeah. what it's like just as a first year coach and now having to do all this. So, uh, where are you at with it all, you know, and what you guys have done from year one now, getting ready for year two? Well, you hear coaches say this so often that we do believe in a process. And I, and I don't think that's jargon. I don't think it's coach speak. Mm -hmm. I believe there is a process. And I think every day we see progress in our program. Getting it back, you know, uh, the one inherent advantage I had was I had been an assistant at Elon for five years previously. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you kind of know the school. You know what the attraction is to the school mm -hmm. from a recruiting standpoint. And I, I'm more and more confident each and every day that we'll get this program back to where we had it when I was here previously. Well, what are you trying to identify, I guess, in the off season? You, know, you, you look at film, you look at things that you know, need to improve and get better, and then you know, recruiting. I mean, that's just a whole other you know, animal Daily. and all that. Yeah, I mean, so you, can, you have to do that, but then you got to, you know, I guess, identify also with who you have and what their best abilities and roles could be. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of where you start, I guess, is my question on how you... Well, you, you kind of broke it down that. into those three elements. I, I think, one, uh, you're, in, you're in a constant evaluation of your internal roster. Mm -hmm. And you have to make sure you're putting a program in place for them, both physically as well as football skill-wise, that they're improving on a daily basis. You know, I was meeting, meeting with some people earlier this morning, and what I've seen, and people ask me, uh, how, do you, how do you judge success, you know, coming off a one, one right. uh, win year? Well, I, I pulled out a picture. We do like before and after pictures of our athletes. When I see those pictures, I know we're making progress physically. From a football standpoint, uh, the fact that we've been able to retain our whole whole staff without yeah. any turnover is, is just, Here's. I'm so fortunate to have that. So, you know, I'm sending that big picture message. Uh, here, here's the, the you know, the, the program as a whole, but those kids are hearing the same coaching points each and every day, and I believe that'll carry off on the field. And then the third thing is recruiting, and that's a daily process. And uh, this class that we have on campus now as freshmen that arrived mm -hmm. this summer, I think is a very good class, and recruiting for 2016 has been going real well as well. Right. It, it, it must be a little bit of a challenge, too, in, in the sense of as a coach, you know, you can come in knowing how you'd like to run your offense and your defense in a program and then you have to balance the fact whether you know you have those people to be able to do that or do you have to kind of adjust to what you have at the time you know we talked to a bunch of coaches that you know have been in the league for years and years right. and years and they have an identity they know right. this is what we expect and this is how we have on defense so we can recruit guys based on this uh, i mean obviously we you know the new hampshire's of the world and james madison's right. but you know where does that process in that time period i guess kind of shift to being able to do what you are hoping and achieving to do as opposed to kind of uh, having to work with, you right. know, and change up your game plan based on what's going right. on. You know well, what I mean? I think you, you always, and, uh, you know, the great basketball coach, John Wooden, yep. and uh, I've read a lot of his material. I think you always want to make sure whatever systems you build, that they're adaptable, adaptable enough yeah. that they're going to be able to adapt to the personnel on hand. And then as you recruit, you can recruit to the maybe specific needs and wants that you want to do. You know, uh, do you want a throwing quarterback or a running quarterback? What is the size of your defensive ends? Uh, you know, what is that outside linebacker? Is it is it more based on size or speed? So I think you can recruit to what you want, but I think your systems have to be in place. We know this in college football, right? Our roster is going to turn over yeah. at about a third every year. So we know we're going to have to be adaptable, and I think it's the head coach's job and the coaching staff's job to make sure that the systems in place are adaptable enough so that we're you know utilizing the best talent that we have available to us yeah understandable uh, give us a quick uh, synopsis uh, offensively defensively what we can expect special teams uh, from you guys entering this uh, 2015 well year. offensively uh, we are a work in progress and uh, if there's one thing that I'll say about our offense it's going to be youth okay uh, I won't be surprised you know we, we've had our freshmen on campus all summer I won't be surprised if um, we might have a half dozen or seven players on offense that are first year players. Maybe not starting, but, but providing uh, meaningful contributions. We know our quarterback's gonna be a freshman. 
whether it's a redshirt freshman in Connor Christensen or a true freshman in Daniel Thompson. We're going to let those guys compete throughout uh, training camp. Uh, they're great kids, unbelievable competitors, really talented kids. So youth is really the, the uh, key component on offense. So a lot of unknowns, but really excited. I think it's a talented group of guys and, and a group of guys I really enjoy being around. On defense, I, I think we have some good kids returning. I really do. I think if you look at us down the middle, if that's a true statement that if you're strong up the middle, you got a chance to be pretty good. I think our two defensive tackles, Chris Jones and Marquise Wright, uh, Chris missed a, a significant part of last year with an injury, but they're both big body kids that are good athletes. Uh, our captain, John Silas, will be a three-year starter almost at, at the middle linebacker position. And then Chris Blair, who I think we spent some time with today, and uh, Miles Williams, who's another captain. So down the middle, I think we got some good experience and some talented kids. And again, on the defense side of the ball, I think we have some more answers. Okay. I think we know kind of what the depth chart looks like. I'm, I'm sure we'll have contributions from some younger guys. Um, but I, I think we have a little bit more known on defense than mm -hmm. we do on offense. And then we have both our specialists back, which is always, uh, uh, you know, uh, John Gallagher and David Petroni are, are both solid players at the FCS level, and it's good to have those specialists back yeah. in, in full, uh, you know, at the kicking and punting. All right, how about, how about the opportunity to uh, open up a Wake Forest on that uh, Thursday night, September 3rd? Is uh, your first it's, game. A, it's a great game, and, and hopefully we're going to be able to continue these games. You know, there's some right. conferences that have moved toward, um, you know, eliminating the, the FCS opponent. Mm -hmm. And Wake's kind of a great one for us, not only in proximity. I think we could get a lot of our alumni there with it being less than an hour from our campus. Um, so Wake is going to be one that hopefully we can continue in the future. Plus, we have some – there's a, there's some staff familiarity as well. Uh, we go back with a lot of guys. So it's going to be a fun, fun opportunity, and especially being on a Thursday night. All right, awesome. Well, we wish you the best of luck in that game and uh, throughout the season. Get ready for year two in the conference and uh, year two as a head coach. Uh, thanks so much, Rich. We appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys do for all us. Right. Thank you. You got it. Rich Skrosky, the uh, head coach of Elon here joining us.